Oh my god! Guys, look at it. Holy crap. It is official. I own an RV. Just standing here looking at this thing, I cannot believe it belongs to me. We are gassing up the rig for the first time. Getting ready for the maiden voyage here. It certainly isn't the bee. It looks like the tires have lost a little bit more air. You can see we got cracks here, cracks down here. Flynn's Tire and Auto in Dover, Ohio. Brand new tires. I had to buy a brand new battery. This is a 43 inch 4K. wait to see how this stuff looks in the RV and then yeah I got the mattress here queen size just got the carpet This is the couch right here. Everything's disassembled. These are so nice and soft. Power recliner on each side. Then there's drink holders on each arm and in the middle. These two front seats here, they need to come out. I'm having these two seats reupholstered. So the seats are officially in. Pretty cool. They are super soft and comfy. So that's how it looks right now. All finished. Looks really good. Came out totally awesome. Entire floor is finished, including the little transition strips. Yes, those are Walmart sandals.
I got this from Amazon for about 250 bucks. And this is funny, but I gotta say, there is a nice minty smell coming out of that toilet right now. <laughs> it flushes. So this is the 22 inch tabletop griddle uh, by Blackstone. I am so looking forward to using this thing. The whole thing needs washed. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. Oh my God, I love it. I love it so much, guys. I still just cannot believe, guys, that this is really happening. It's been such a long process, such a big plan. It just seemed so unbelievable and unreachable in the beginning. But with God, all things are possible. Spiders, fish. It's so cold, but this is so awesome. I love it.
this morning I am preparing to leave this campground and uh, there's something I've been thinking about for a while now um, especially while I've been out here you know living at this campground for the past month and kind of experiencing a little bit of what it's going to be like on the road one thing that I have realized immediately in being out here is that as much as I love it it is incredibly lonely it's like this is this is almost horrible alone with that being said I want to direct this uh, to someone specific someone who watches my videos and someone who's videos I've been watching for a while. Uh, this is the craziest thing I've ever done. Um, we are both Christians. We both have been planning to travel in an RV, live in an RV full time, long before we ever met. Like I said, you know, we've been friends for a few years now. We have learned a lot about each other, enough to where I feel like we may be able to uh, take it to the next level. <laughs> That sounds so weird. <laughs> but yes, uh, her channel is called Life Unboxed. Her name is Marion LaRose. She is a beautiful woman. And uh, Marion, if you are up for this, <laughs> I'm going to be going to uh, Texas here in just a few weeks, which is right by you in Louisiana. I would love to come over to Louisiana um, meet with you, kind of, you know, spend some time together and get to know each other a little bit more and, uh, you know, see if this might go somewhere. <sighs> it's got to be the craziest thing I've ever done in here. <laughs> I want to do this with somebody. I really do. I'm completely serious. So, Marion LaRose, will you meet with me? Will you go out with me and possibly travel the United States with me in this giant monster back here. You can answer me on your channel. Let's do this online. Even if the answer is no, I will take that rejection and leave this video up <laughs> because that's what this is. One more drink of coffee before we go. Dear Lord Jesus, lead me and guide me in the decision to post this video. And whatever comes from it, it is what it is. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything you have brought into my life. Amen. Well, that was certainly an interesting video to watch. Hey, Nathan, since you're going to be in Texas and you might as well come to Louisiana and let's meet and see where it goes. I would love to go out and have um, a date with you and then we'll go from there. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. This is the video. So I don't know what else to say except that be kind to one another because it is a rough world out there. I love you all and thank you for participating in this video. See you later. Bye. I am on the road. Holy crap. Good morning from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Cracker Barrel in Little Rock, Arkansas. There are thousands of murdered bugs on my windshield. in 
Texas, holy crap! The stars at night are big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas. Come on, bear! Bear? It's a little piece of the nozzle from the orange coloring. <laughs> I've been preparing all this stuff this morning, getting ready to hit the road again because today I've got a four hour drive to get to Louisiana. I am going to Louisiana. I am so excited. I can't stand it. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is Marion here. Hey everybody. <laughs> We're gonna go out to breakfast this morning. We are gonna talk a little bit and kind of get to know each other. Not exactly sure where we're gonna go or what we're gonna do yet, but it will unfold right in front of you guys. So, are you Excited? ready to do this? Yeah, yeah. All right. Doing a lot of running around and talking and stuff, and we are going to finish off the day here at Crawfish Town, USA. The way you move, I've been following every. Legit just got our marriage license. This is happening.
Hello together. Today. <laughs> We're gathered here together today in the sight of God, under his great heaven, and in this presence of this great company to join together Nate Rambod and Marion LaRose in holy matrimony, which is commended by God and in the Holy Bible to be honorable among all men and therefore is not to be entered into lightly, but reverently, discreetly, soberly and in the fear of God. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed. I be wed. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed. By the Church of Jesus Christ and of the state of Louisiana, I pronounce you man and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Kiss the bride. Okay. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Nate Rambod. Anthony will be on the promenade deck. <laughs> Yeah, look, no, look, your butt looks so low. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia on the map. 
I want to stay here. I want to live here. <laughs> <laughs> right through the spooky trees behind us is the abandoned town of Spectre from Tim Burton's 2004 movie Big Fish. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on. Look at all these goats, guys. Today we are in San Antonio at River Center Mall. This sucker is 750 feet tall. I'm gonna crap my pants when we get on there. <laughs> okay. Holy crap, look at this. We're about to give you the full reveal. officially on our way out of Texas. We are going to Roswell, New Mexico. Woo! Woo with me, babe! Woo! It is February 16th, and look at this. It is snowing. This is the craziest, unexpected snowstorm I've ever been in. <laughs> it is absolutely frigid out here right now, guys. It is 14 degrees. My fingers feel like they're frostbitten. It is a crispy 46 out here right now, but I don't even care. It's so much warmer than it was. I'm over here with this guy. <laughs> Hold on, I get a close up of that one. presently staying at what is loosely identified as an RV park here in Belrose, Louisiana. Today we are in Lordsburg, New Mexico. We are in Tucson, Arizona. Goodyear, Arizona. Today we are at the Grand Canyon. We're in the middle of nowhere here. BLM land, Joshua Tree, California. This is called the Verado Mountain Trails. We are in Yermo, California. All right, guys, right now we are in Las Vegas. We are actually outside the Bellagio. Today we are in Shingletown, California, staying at the KOA Holiday. It's not every day you'd be with a woman who could make it halfway up a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> so she's been going around smelling trees. <laughs>
in the middle of the mountains um, on our way to Trinidad, California. And given this thing all it's got within reason to get up these hills, we are almost to the part that it goes down and the engine gave out. And there he goes, good old Goliath, getting towed away down the mountain. Holy crap, never thought I'd see that sight, guys. Goliath is back at the mechanics in Redding, California. We are not going to let this get us down. We are on the road to Oregon. We booked a handful of Airbnbs and we are going to a sweet one right now. We are at the Bend, Oregon Blockbuster, the last blockbuster on the face of the earth. All right, guys, right now I am standing in the middle of the street in Castle Rock, Oregon, which is actually Brownsville, Oregon, and we are going to have the most awesome Stand By Me adventure and movie night ever. Tonight we are in Astoria, Oregon, where behind me lies the remains of One-Eyed Willie's ship. Guys, if I said I was excited before, I was crazy. Look at that. We are at the actual... Goonies house. Hello, Mr. Golf friend. Throw the anchor overboard! Crying! Can I get a little help here? I love the smell of a campfire. You are a big floofy cat. Today we are in White Salmon, Washington. This drive has been absolutely incredible. Um, this is the whole cabin area, and we've got this enormous deck over here. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Look at this. We have got a hot tub. We, we got, got Goliath, Goliath back. back. We are in Reno. We're in Winnemucca. Today I am in Preston, Idaho, where they filmed Napoleon Dynamite. We are back in Utah for a quick pit stop. We're at a KOA. I think this is called Rock Springs, Wyoming. Holy crap, we're in the middle of the desert! All right, guys, we are in South Dakota. Who pooped in the Black Hills? <laughs> All these fools are taking the steps we jumped in the elevator. <laughs> yeah, look at that. How cool is that? Mount Rushmore. We are at the National Presidential Wax Museum. Look at that big guy. Look at his tail going. Mm -hmm. I'm eating him next year at the Buffalo Dinner. I'm gonna eat him this afternoon. <laughs> Because I'm going to have a buffalo burger. And just like that, we are in Ogallala, Nebraska. We are now in Des Moines, Iowa. We are in uh, Ottawa, Illinois. I can't even keep it straight. We've been so many places. We are in Bluffton, Indiana. Well, we made it to Ohio. <laughs> We are absolutely exhausted. We are in Tappan in Ohio, Tappan Lake Campground. I am in the process of putting in a new fridge. Courtney is here. She's camping on the other side of the park in a tent. Kyle and the Littles are coming today. It's been raining almost non-stop the entire time we've been here. It just poured, and it poured and poured and poured to where they finally decided just to pack up and go. Today we are in Lyonsville, Pennsylvania. We're at the Lyonsville Spillway. Today we are in Andover, Ohio. This is Marion's first time ever having the best pizza on the face of the earth. Look. At 
that, guys? What the heck? <laughs> Today we are exploring in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. As we arrived, we were greeted with this giant, awesome sign here with huge Punxsutawney fill over here. Today we are at Hershey World in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Look at all this goodness. Today we are in Lake George and we are here with Marion and Ruthann and Bruce and we are getting ready to go on that boat right back there. We are in Atlantic City on the boardwalk. We are in Connecticut right now. Right now we are in Vermont. We are going over to Platts, Plattsburgh, New York, I think it's called, and we have to ride the ferry. So it is our last night in Maine. Look at how awesome that fire is right there. We are in Massachusetts tonight at a Cracker Barrel. The lady has bacon and blueberry pancakes, and I have a whole slew of wild hog sausage. We left Connecticut this morning and we are in Fishkill, New York tonight. Hello, goat friend. <laughs> <laughs> got here to Pennsylvania. We got all set up. And from over here, we could hear this strange, like, whirring sound every once in a while. What we finally figured out it was was the slide motor. We are basically tearing this place apart, trying to figure out how to get the slides in. We are exhausted. We're at the Comfort Inn in some place, Pennsylvania. We dropped off the RV <laughs> at the storage place. We have three weeks now to fill with Airbnbs, cabins, campgrounds, hotels. Um, hotels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, our adventures have brought us to Wheeling, West Virginia. Guys, I cannot even begin to tell you how crazy and chaotic this trip to Ohio has been. We are here to pick up the RV after about a month and then head back to our Airbnb, which is about an hour away that we are at for about another week. We are here, we are back at the Airbnb. By this point, you all know that we gave Wally and Kayla the B. So we have got a new car. And we are done. I just made my final round in here to make sure that we got everything. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, we were getting ready to roll out. And I stepped outside, we got the jacks up, we got everything ready to roll. We're just ready to pull out and put the car on and the bedroom slide keeps sliding back out on its own. Okay, let me show you what I had to do back here to secure this. I had to cut two two by fours to block this off and keep it from sliding out. We stopped at a rest stop here. Come outside with me a minute. Pulled them out, pulled the slide in, and now the slide is 100% staying in. Um, let's just hope that it doesn't happen again. 
We're about two hours from the Cracker Barrel we were originally going to go to. Your mismatched clothes. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> Illinois. So we need gas and every gas station we pull across is abandoned. We've only been driving for about a half an hour and we're already entering Arkansas. We found a gas station that's actually open. When we pulled in, there was a, where you see the white forerunner right there, there was a black truck with his tailgate down. He did not put in his tailgate before he backed up, and he backed directly in to the back of Goliath. This lady made me the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich I have ever had in my life. <laughs> and we're crossing the river into Tennessee. And just that quick, we're in Rock Island. Rock Island, Tennessee, that is. We are at Patrick's house. Patrick is Marion's son. We are in Murphy, North Carolina at the KOA Holiday. Got some nice fresh coffee in there. Donut shop, yum. <laughs> We are in Spartanburg, South Carolina. <laughs> we probably look like the biggest dorks walking with umbrellas here. <laughs> and we are in Augusta, Georgia. This is Everett and Dawn. Their channel is Retired Life Ollie Style. So yesterday we realized that we were all in the same place. So we're down here at Calhoun Street in South Carolina on the May River. That was a long, long trip. We are finally here in Florida. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, everybody. Everybody. <laughs> As we come this way, you can see this site right here with our little car and no RV. So this is the biggest problem and the biggest frustration when something goes wrong with the RV that it has to go in and get fixed because you end up paying so much money during the process just to rent someplace else to stay before you even get to the cost of having the RV repaired. So it's just, it's a big bummer, it's very frustrating, and it's very difficult to keep positive. People always talk. 